Welcome back, Star Wars detectors. I've got a freshly built Lego set to share with you here, but as always, Clarkman has his own ideas on how he wants to start these videos. Here, I see it. Okay. Self-lopes. <laughs> <laughs> Just disappeared. On a more serious and less dangerous note, we have Lego Star Wars set 75202, Defense of Crate. 746 pieces, and Clark and I built this. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a 50-50 type thing. I started, where did this start at? Right here. This is the first little build. Do you want to do the review, Clark, ma'am? Yeah, here's the um, start of the thing, like the little pink thing. Go, pew, pew. pew. And, and here's like the tower thing. It goes with it. And somebody goes inside it. Defense of crates! I got the crate! They sure defended it. <laughs> I like the little blade thing that comes down there. Do you want to show how that works, Clark, man? It shreds for snow. <laughs> it's not snow, it's sand. sand. It's really cool in the movie, though, because the sand... Do you remember Last Jedi? Do you remember oh, watching that? Oh, the red sand? Yeah, do you remember that? No, I don't. Oh, dude, it's pretty cool. I love the way they did that. There's the Star Walker in the background, as he's known in some circles, and there is our Target sticker that we just love so much on this box. I got this set really cheap through Target. That's pretty much the only reason I bought it. I don't have much to say about it. How can you um, put in the knife and just keep it stabilized? I don't know if it stays up entirely, but we can try it out. Seeing if that maybe clicks in there. Not for me, at least, but that's the way it's supposed to be. As this thing kind of comes and hovers, that shreds kind of like a, a ski or whatever through the ground. Let it's, me show the top of this, huh? It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying? Yeah. Why is that? Because I don't like it falling out, and I just want the fly hover. You want it to hover without that sticking out? Yeah. Well, it's very easy to modify. We could rip it out. We won't do that right now, though. We do want to show this off. So here is all the angles on this. Clarky <laughs> built Clark built most of this, honestly. I think he did a real nice job with this. It's not a very easy to set. Weapon. We just got not made for kids. <laughs> this is the cockpit over here with Poe. Po. Let's see what Poe looks like. He looks awesome. He's got the headset on. So if you were a gamer and you're looking for a sig fig, and you happen to look like this, I think this would be awesome for you. Here's a look at the side if you want to see that. I love that hairpiece. I think it looks fantastic. What do you think, Clark, man? I think it's awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. That's probably my favorite fig of this. My other favorite is probably this guy right here. He is a resistance trooper. Looking nice. And then, of course, you got the two snow troopers, as I showed you there earlier. We'll kind of just glance over them. And we got this dude who is Admiral... Does this guy have a name, Clark, man? I'm old Pococo. Pococo? <laughs> Everyone has such weird names in Star Wars. That's crazy. So there they are. There that is. Any other comments or anything about this, Clark, that you want to say about the build or the set? Other outside of the fact that it's annoying with the thing that's hanging down. I, I think I would um be the sick fig if I got on the Poe mustache. I like um Poe because I like the headset. Yeah. Because he's a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Clarkman, if I remember correctly, The Last Jedi wasn't actually a Star Wars movie. It was a VR experience. Oh. It's one of those things where you put the thing over your eyes and you have controllers in your hands, and then you get to defend Crate. And that's what this set is based off of. It's not actually a Star Wars movie, which is shocking because there's so many Star Wars movies out there. But uh, Defensive Crate was actually a video game. Now that you guys know everything about Defensive Crate, the VR experience, let's get the set up here so you guys can see the full thing. Oh, oh, gee. <laughs> Based on actual events in the VR experience, I think it was level three where you take out all the snowtroopers on crate. I feel like bad things are gonna happen here. Dominoes. <laughs> we have to make that a video, dude. We have to. We have to make but, video domino. Yes, but there you go. Defensive crate, pretty cool set. Got it because it's cheap, and yeah, that's it. You guys might be thinking now that Greg has triggered you for the last time in Star Wars month, but oh no, it's not over yet. We have another set that we need to start, and it's this one right here. This, my friends, is LEGO Star Wars set 75243, Slave 1, 20th Anniversary Edition, 1,007 pieces. And I've been saving this set for the finale of Star Wars Month, and that is today. Yeah, the finale. <laughs> we need that one right there. We need that set? Yeah. But this is like the newer, better version of that, according to some people. I don't have any experience with this set, but I would say from at least a visual point of view, this set looks way better, and you get away with this. Plus, we almost have the entire collection of the rest of the guys. We're just missing Landolorian. That's the only one we're missing. Landolorian. This does have a couple other minifigs as well, if you guys are curious. We have a Boba Fett, which is always nice to have. We've got, oh gosh, Forlom, yeah. Zuckus, and Han Solo. And we got Han Solo and Carbonite, which Clark is going to love that. 
and the set looks just so good. I got this, I want to say like last, the end of last year from shop.lego.com. I got it because I was trying to get a promo of sorts. And I think it might have actually been, oh gosh, I think it might have been this, along with some other stuff. A lot of my promo stuff is down here. I can't even remember at this point because it's so long ago, which is why you shouldn't have a backlog, folks. Speaking of backlog, this is it for the Star Wars. This is it. The Star Wars. These two, I think I'm going to end up just kind of saving because why open them now? This, I think I'm going to give away. I'm going to find a creative way to give this away. We already built this set this month. And this guy, we can just simply open up. I think I'll do that when I one day acquire Lando. We'll have the whole collection and make it a thing. That being said, please don't send us Landalorian because I have a bad feeling that like 40 people are going to do it and we're going to end up with a ton of these. So I will find it on my own. I will find a way to get it. Please don't send us Landalorian. What are your thoughts on going on a Landalorian hunt? Good. Let's high five it. <laughs> You gotta high five everything, guys. Let's high five an unboxing of this set high right five, now. High five, man. Oh. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Star Wars month ends with a bang. You know I've been hating on boxes lately, but seriously, bro, we need to be careful around here. Where's my noise? Okay, okay. All right, you're done. You're done. Give me that set, give me that set. You know what? I can unbox it with or without you. As long as, as long as it's somewhat in the frame. Here, I know how to do that. <laughs> Good boxes! Give me that hey, we dropped a bag. It's a brick attack video. Catch! Wow, actually worked. Empty box, as far as I can tell. No! Stickers! Tell me it isn't so, Clark Man. There's stickers in here. Oh, that's not bad. This is a thousand piece set, and there's only like, well, like seven stickers. I think we can survive that. How many yeah. bags do we have here, Clark? We what? got one, two, three, four. Let's get all fancy here for you guys, because that's just how we are around here, as you probably know. That's it. Wow. Eight bags. Those eight bags somehow turn into, well, I was going to show it to you, but the box is all the way down here, turn into this miraculous scent right here, which is going to be a fine display piece in my collection. Where are you going with that box, sir? <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> this is the life that I live right now, guys. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my soul hurts. Let's get into this here manual. Oh, that was a nice little cut right there. See what the damage is. Hey, there's a gun here too. Is that the one you are shooting at me earlier? Yeah. How dare you, sir? It's over there. Here's a closer look at our stickers. Freed from their prison. And now we've got the manual. We cracked into oh, it. Oh, yeah. 20 years of Star Wars. Okay. Yikes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Which one of those do you like better, Clark Man? I like the little one. Are you kidding me right now? Like, what world are we living in that that is preferable? I mean, we could. Dang, that's some simple pieces. Outside of that windshield piece, I think we could totally build this. Yeah. That would be great. Could have saved a hundred and some dollars off of that. This is a hundred and twenty dollar set, by the way. The Star Wars tax is heavy with this one. Here's all the 20th anniversary sets. In fact, why don't I just bring you guys in so you can actually see it? We got that better. one. We got that one. Yep. And we got that There's one. There's Landalorian. We got that one. Yeah. We got everything. The only reason I didn't get this one is because I already have a snow speeder, but it doesn't have Landalorian with it. So that's the only thing I was missing. Look at that. Shows you the parts of the movie where this is from. Yeah. Transporting Han Solo. Le transporte Han Solo. El transporte de Han Solo. <laughs> I love having the so real life laugh track. Here's what we build out of here. Bag one. Oh my gosh, Clark man. What? Bag one is the bag you want, sir. Why? It has not only Boba Fett, but also Han Solo. And we build the base. Um, and then as slowly but surely it goes around and around. And Leia, she's all the way in bag eight. So it gives you something to look forward to and work towards. Hmm. Do you want to crack into bag one and get these, get this thing started? I wonder where on the frozen carbonite dude is. Oh, let's look. Where is he? I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I don't know. Maybe it's in the highest number. It's a mystery. They're probably in the ever bags. Huh. Yeah, they probably don't show them. I feel like I'm missing it somewhere here. We'll solve that mystery when we come to it. Until then, let's get into bag one. Get into this. There he is. Oh, the cheeky little piece. There's always that one piece that wants to give us trouble in here. There's 16 people in this house, and you're the only one that's causing trouble. Fett's like. Fett, right? Oh, yeah. One last piece again. Always. I'm a little Boba Fett because I'm excited. Oh, look at that piece right there, man. Boba Fett's jetpack backpack. Yeah, well, where is that Pants. little... Where is that little antenna thing? It's 
That cheeky devil is all over in this bag, isn't he? Mm -hmm. We have another Boba Fett, don't we? He came with Cloud City. Yeah. I think we have him. I wonder how different he is. You build him up real quick. I'm going to go grab our other Boba Fett if I can find him. He's up here on Bar Attacked. Let's move the Porsche aside. Did you guys see that new Lambo, though? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I watched an unboxing video on that today. It was easily the best <laughs> unboxing video I've ever seen in my life, so don't, uh, don't judge me. Oh, okay. This isn't as bad as I thought. I actually have all of Cloud City inside here. First time I've ever kind of like just kind of disassembled a set and put it back in the box. It's in there. Glorious set, by the way. We do have the mini slave one. I should try to pull that out of there too. I think it's still built. We could do a comparison someday. Maybe in Star Wars month 2021. I see him. What? Right there. There's Boba Fett. Is it the same one? Hey, you don't even have yours built up yet. What the heck? Yeah. Oh, you're looking for his antenna thing? Yeah. Good question. Does he have one? Oh, there's a whole piece. Oh, it's in here. Oh, and then I like have him running or something. Like I'm gonna have him running. Okay. Cape There's running. his antenna thing right there. Thank you. That's what we're calling it. Here's his cape. Is the cape the same? Oh yeah, it looks very similar at least. The focus. Let's do the comparison here. One running Boba Fett, one standing Boba Fett. Do you guys see any differences here? Clarky wanted to get the same pose going here. So there they are, the two Mandalorians. I see one thing that's different, Clark, man. What? Their antenna things are on the wrong side. One of them's wrong, one of them's right. Mm -hmm. Hard to say, but the rest of it looks pretty much the same. Looks like they might be running away from the wreckage that used to be the Slave 1 after it blew up in Star Wars episode. Was it 45 that happened? Yeah. Pretty sure, happened. yeah. So there's those guys, and we do have a Han Solo in here as well. Stuck to my leg. <laughs> Let's see this dude. Yeah, we're gonna build him. Gonna Han build him up. Han Solo before he became Carbonite. Oh, you know where it is, Parkman? Bag eight. Ooh. Right there it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just He's like, ah! With his little rat pants. Are you looking for his pants? Yeah. Uh, what color pants does he have? Brown? Brown. I know pants! Right there they are. In the wreckage. Where's my pants? Where's my pants guy? Where's, where's my underwear? Do you remember that Star Wars movie where they're like, everything is awesome? And there was this, where's my pants guy, Han Solo. Do you remember that? No. Oh, I maybe I was making that one up. Yeah. First time I've ever made up anything about Star Wars. You're in the up. Wait, are you sure? Yeah. Let's see if we can get Han to stand. His arm behind him, is it looks totally broken, but uh, there's Han Solo. This is like a... <laughs> I was going to say, that was from Star Wars 212, where they were running the marathon on Naboo, and everyone passed out from heat exhaustion. It was something. But there is there is bag one. We've got a lot of stuff left to build here, of course, and we're going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. A big plan for this is actually to do some live streaming of this build in celebration of Star Wars Month and celebration of that big crack that's now across the box here, which hurts my soul thanks to somebody... <laughs> My associate here. I'm going to do some live streaming of this set, build it up, have a good time, and then I might even do some of it on the Patreon stream, which is happening tonight as well. But nonetheless, by the end of the day today, I will have myself a fully completed Slave 1 20th Anniversary Edition set. And it's going to be glorious. Looking amazing on display. Hopefully it plays well. Clark Man's gone. Finally! Finally! No more bent boxes. Oh, gosh. I'm getting the heck out of here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> No! <laughs> oh, it's worse. It's worse.